Hey YouTube, this is Steve. Today is uh, February 14th, 2014. This is a review of the Portable Buddy by Mr. Heater. Mr. Heater makes up uh, very good um, propane powered uh, heaters and this is model number MH9BX. And this little unit here, which I'll show you in a second, has one element on the front, not two, because another model has two elements. It takes a small, um, it takes a one pound, um, they're usually green, cylinder of propane, or you can hook up one of those 20 pound cylinder propane units you probably have on your outdoor propane grill. All right, and I'll explain that in also. <clears throat> on low, it burns at 4,000 BTU per hour, and on high, it burns at 9,000 BTU per hour. And it will heat a 200 square feet area for three hours on high, or six hours on low, or 48 hours, which is two days, on a 20 pound tank like you have outside on your grill. One of those 20 pound tanks will run for two days straight on, um, on a high. Okay, on high. And on, if you switch, if you switch it to a low, this Portable unit will heat a 200 square feet area for 110 hours straight on low. And how long is that? Well, you got 24, 48, 72, uh, 96, and 110. I guess that's like five days. Five days of heat on for 24 hours a day for five days straight if you run it on low. And in my book, that's awesome. Um, it has special features built in, such as the handle on top will f flip down to get out of the way. Um, it has a metal, very rigid metal guard on the front to keep things from touching by accident. It has um, just one controller, that's it. One, one knob does everything. It has a low oxygen sensor, so if the oxygen in your room or tent or workshop or whatever goes too low for you to survive this will turn off automatically so that you don't die uh, also if you tip it over this unit will turn off all right because if this falls on its face it's going to set your carpet on fire it's going to set your uh your child on fire if they land underneath of it all right um and it says here that it's temporary heat, as we know, for these types of situations. And the type of heat it puts out feels like a fireplace. It's very nice heat to be around. Um, it's not being blown at you like a uh, forced air uh, little ceramic heater would do. So it's not being blown at you, but it's just being the heat pours off it, just like a fireplace pours off of it. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else you can see on the box here. You got people using it and they're, uh, they're ice fishing here and they're in their hunting lodge or cabin here. Has a one year warranty straight from the factory. Um, it's very lightweight. It's, um, even with the, uh, pound of propane on the side, it's still very, very light to uh, tow around and on the back you can see that they have it hooked up to one of those propane tanks for your grill and it's actually the same size as a tank a little bit shorter of course and you need a special hose to run from the the um, connector on the propane tank to the input on the heater and they have different uh, feet 5 foot 12 foot 
And if you use this five foot with this model number, you definitely need to put the filter to filter the fuel in line. The fuel filter screws into the hose and then will filter the fuel that goes from the propane tank to the heater because propane's not clean. It's kind of has like debris and dirty in it. It's kind of dirty sometimes. So you don't want to burn out the fine filaments of this of this heater. If you use this 5 foot hose you need the filter. If you use this 12 foot hose you need the filter. And this is the filter here. And it, it you know it lasts forever. Um, if you use this one here, the 10 foot hose, it, it needs no filter because it has a filter built in. So you do what you want. I would definitely recommend that you keep the propane tank, the big one, outside and run the hose through your window that's cracked into the heater which is on the inside <clears throat> alright you'll keep this outside but that's up to you <clears throat> um, let's see um, that's really all there is to look at you see that to install the cylinder you put it on an angle screw it on and it folds down and the magnet on the inside keeps the bottle from bouncing around and on this side you can see the people using it outside of their RV have a picnic. This guy has this out on his front porch. And it has the same information over here as well. Uh, even here they say keep the keep the 20 pound cylinder outside. Do not bring it inside at all under no circumstances. I don't know why they say that, but um, I would definitely you know follow those directions. And if you have a if you have the uh, 12 the 12 or 10 foot um, hose. You can put the propane tank outside under your window, run the hose up into the window, and there will be a little crack in the window. And you just put some um, insulation foam, you know, say a dollar or two, into the crack around the hose, and the hose just comes through the, the space between the insulation, and then the hose goes into your little buddy. This little guy here, the portable buddy. So, you want to see what it looks like? All right, I'll bring it up on a table and show it to you. Here it is. This right here is the Buddy Portable by Mr. Heater. And that's the handle that folds down. I'll tuck that out of the way. And I'll lower the camera a little bit. And I have the uh, little one pound propane tank on the side right now. And I will um, take it off, and then I will we'll reinstall it, and then I'll kick this up, and I'll show you how fast it works. Let me pause this video, turn the flash off. Looks like we can't turn the flash off at this moment, because we're currently in a video session. But I'll, I'll just put my finger in front of the flash, so that you can see uh, how quickly the element on the front, this ceramic element here, will light up. Um, now, don't touch this ceramic element. It is about a quarter inch thick, so it's quite durable. This has not been turned on all day long, so I can touch it, but it's very rough feeling. It'll leave a little bit of white residue on your finger if you touch it, but don't touch it. Um, it has little air, air holes in it for the gas to travel upon and to stick in, onto and burn up before it leaves to allow this to radiate heat. So on this side, there's a magnet that holds this tight against the body. It's a, it's one of those rare earth and neodymium magnets that's like that's about like that round size of a pea. And you hear it, you hear it grab onto the metal of the cylinder. So this flips up and then it unscrews. You'll hear it probably hiss at me. All right, no hissing involved. Oh, there's the hissing. Hear it hissing at me? That's propane coming out. You hear that? Better put this back on because it smells real bad. Put my hand on it. Um, that's what it looks like on the side. The connector. Now, the propane's coming out of this tank right now, so I screw it back on. Yeah, I can hear it hissing. Yeah. So these are one-shot deals sometimes, apparently. Depends on the brand. This is this brand here. So I'll stick it on, give it a little bit of forward pressure, 
and screw it on. And then a slight turn, and you can hear it rub. You can hear it rub against the metal against the rubber washer, and it's on. Now, magnet grabs it, and I'm going to listen with my ear to see if it's leaking at all. No sound is coming from here. That means I tightened it enough. Now I'm going to smell it because propane smells bad. No smell, so I think it's safe to kick over. Because if it's leaking here, and you kick this on, the heat will cause this to ignite and this can blow up. So, you always want to make sure it's on all the way. No sounds coming from here, and also, you want to make sure that no smell is coming from here either. All right. Now, on this side, we have the dial. It's the only dial on it. And you can see that it has just a couple words. Pilot, no, it has a off. Let me focus on that. It has off, pilot, that's how you light it. Low and high. So, the it has directions right here how to do it. So what you want to do is you want to um, Press down slightly, kind of like your uh, oven on your at your house that has, takes gas. I'm going to press down slightly, because you can't turn it right now, it's locked. You have to press down slightly and put it into pilot mode. And then it'll lock in. Now it's in pilot mode. There's a little bit of gas coming out right now. Down here, there's a little bit of gas coming out of that, of that hole right there. Let me bend this down. Gas comes out of that hole. On the right, there's a little sparker in the middle. That little white thing in the middle, that sparker. And the, one, the piece on the left is, I have no idea what that is. But it does get, it turns red when it's in use. When this is in use, because it gets so hot. So I'm going to bring the camera up a little bit. And I'm going to um, turn the flash, my flash off with my finger. Where's that flash at? <clears throat> Uh, Alright, flash is on top. Alright, I'm using my phone here, so I'm going to turn the flash off. That's my finger. Alright, so the flash is uh, off. I'm going to hold this down, and every time I press it, it's going to use the electric igniter to ignite this blue flame down here. Now watch. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Now let me... Click it and hold it, and not let go. Nothing happens. So I almost keep on pressing down. Oh, 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 I almost got it. I almost got it. I'm going to click it and hold it this time. Oh, I held it down. I held that red button down. It, I, didn't, I didn't let go immediately. I pressed down and held it. And then let go. Alright, so that's one way to get it going faster. That's the uh, pilot light. Nothing's happening really. Now I'm going to switch that red knob on the top. I'm going to switch it to the low of uh, the high setting first, all right? Because this is the way you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to switch it from pilot to high, and after it turns bright cherry red or orange, you can then switch it to low. Now let me turn the lights off in my living room here. Okay, the lights are off. I'm going to turn the flash off with my finger and I'll kick this over. Alright, there's a little bit of haze and that's from the uh, <laughs> that's from my finger being lit up by the flash. Alright, now I'm going to turn this from pilot to high. Press down and turn it all the way to high and watch this. Ooh, look at that. There's a layer of propane being burn up. That blue will disappear and I'll turn orange. My camera's getting really hot. I'm going to back this up. There we go. And that is, <laughs> that's quite hot. Hmm. 
Now see it getting more orange and more orange? It's a lot of heat coming off of there. It's getting more and more orange. See heating up? Let me focus in on that. Now it's burning. That's the, as orange as, as it's going to get. I'm going to count it. Oh, way longer. Let's look, it's getting a little, more, a little bit more intense color in there. That's a lot of heat coming off there. I hope this doesn't damage my camera. All right, now I'm going to switch it to low. Now that's been, now it's primed. Switch it to low. What is the knob up here? Now it, it dimmed like halfway. The orange intensity. It's still the same coloration, but it, it's less intense. And that brought it down to the um, 4000 BTU. So now it'll, now this, this little tank on the side, I'm going to let go of the flash now, um, it's still on. Um, this tank on the side, on medium, or on, sorry, on low, will burn for, um, what did it say? Uh, <laughs> I forget how many hours I, it said. Let me get the box. Um, on low, which is 4,000 BTUs, it'll burn for uh, six hours. And if you bump it up to high, it'll go for three hours. And that's just on one pound. And you can usually buy these in, in uh, packs, like, like double packs. And, um, yeah, I... I love this thing, uh, this heater. It's very well built. There's, as you can see, there's like no sound. And let me uh, cover that up again to flash. Look at that burn. It feels like a fireplace. Let me turn it up to high. There's high. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. And the heat that comes off of it is beautiful as well. Let me turn this off completely. There, now it's off. The heat that comes off of it feels like a fireplace. It's so nice to put your hands in front of and just to sit in front of. It will increase the temperature in your in your bedroom or whatever from, you know, a cold 45 or 50 degrees. It'll bump it up 20 degrees in only 30 to minutes to an hour. So, if you're if you have no power, no electric in your house or camping or whatever and you Want warmth? Turn this, turn this on, and the temperature will go up twenty degrees. That's substantial. If it's thirty-two degrees, freezing, it'll go up to fi uh, fifty-two degrees. And it's and then the the coldness is more bearable to withstand. Um. But that's only in an hour. If you keep burning it, it'll get hotter and hotter and hotter in your room. Um, so I cannot recommend this enough, um, not only for, not only for going camping or for a sports event, imagine sitting out on the bleachers at your, uh, your kid's high school game or whatever, you're on this concrete bleachers and it's freezing out, it's football season, and the, and if you look down at your feet, there's more, more and more concrete bleachers below you, well if you put this on the, on the one level below you, the heat shoots upwards, and it will keep you and your person next to you very, very toasty. Like, very toasty. And you will probably not even need to have gloves on. Um, if you're going fishing, out in the cold, or going hunting, uh, if you're going uh, RVing, or, or, or just going uh, on a weekend trip in the woods, this thing's so light you can... Um, it can it can provide warmth for you in an emergency, um, but the reason why I have it is for um, situations where there's no heat. We had uh, we had no electricity for um, four or four and a half to five days, or three and a half to four days or whatever. Four let's say four days or five days of no electricity, and it was freezing in this place, and um, I never want to go through that again. So. Um, I was fortunate to be able to um, purchase this right off of Amazon.com for a really, really amazing price. I paid $120 for it. I believe you could probably get it cheaper if you um, if you wait a couple days. 
because right now I think they upped it in price because everyone's buying them because of the big storm and ice storm we had in this area, which knocked out over over 560,000 people without power. But never again will I be uh, without heat. In fact, because this is for emergency situations, um, I recommend that not only do you have this, but you also go to your local um, Home Depot or whatever and pick, or Walmart or whatever big box store you want to go to, and buy uh, these extra cylinders as well. Now, you can get this probably for a better price on Amazon. And what I'll do is I'll put a link below the uh, video to uh, a link on Amazon to where you can buy it for the best price. And um, let me show you something. Now, this is for emer emergency situations. So it's always a good idea to have lots of fuel for these things. So go ahead and get yourself some double packs of, of these. If you run this on low, this will this is a full 24 hours worth. Run it on low. Now you don't necessarily need to run it 24 hours because when you go to bed, you can pile on. If, if, you, if it was an emergency situation where it's ice, ice cold outside, you can run these on low only when you're outside of your bed. So if you're sleeping for a good 8 to 12 hours a day, you're only out of bed for 12 to 16 hours per day. So this will last you one day out of your bed. All right. So this will either last you one day or this will last you one day. Depends on depends how much depends if you want to have heat on while you're under your blankets, which you probably don't need to because if you're if you had this running for a good twelve hours straight, now it's time for bed. The temperature will slowly fall throughout throughout the next throughout the next twelve hours, and you won't need to use all four up in one day. So this is either one day or two days worth of fuel. But you never know, you never, never know how long that the electricity will be out for. So you might want to get yourself some more fuel. But you still never know how long you're going to be without electricity. And if you have a family, it's very important to take care of them. Or if you have friends or family, invite them over. Invite them over to stay and keep warm. So this could last you one two, three, four, five, six, six days right here, a full week of warmth. If the power comes on in two days, great, then you got all these extra ones for the next time. Let's say you have two days of without power, then you still have enough fuel for, th for two other situations. Maybe um, this is for this year. Maybe this is for the next year, snowstorms coming, and this is for the following year. So you have three years worth of um, worth of fuel, ready to go, to keep you warm and sane. Now let's say you want to have a nice uh, hot meal. Well, these these tanks here are universal, and they fit propane stoves. Now let me take these off of the table, and I'll show you what a propane stove is. You can also pick up these propane stoves off of Amazon. Maybe I'll find a link below for you. Put it below. This is a propane stove. As you can see, it, it folds flat. These wings fold in and then it folds down. Nice and compact. And it opens up. This keeps the wind away so that the flame doesn't go away. And you have two full-size burners. Each has their own knob. And then over here, you hook up your tank of propane right there. And you can cook. You can cook on... You can turn this dial to high. And you can boil for one and a half hour straight water if you wanted to. Now, we all know if you're boiling water... If you're going to drink it, and it's from a stream or a creek that's rapidly moving, you want to boil it for, you know, a good 15 minutes, just to be sure all microorganisms are, are destroyed. So with that said, you can boil water 
six times to drink on here, a big pot of water per tank. So if you need water to drink and you're out in the woods or survival, this will give you that boiling ability. This is just one method. You can also use alcohol uh, alcohol stoves as well. But let's say you're still you're still at home. All right. Well, these feet fold under to give you some surface to work upon as well. This keeps off the ground. This allows you to boil a cup of water in four minutes flat. Four minutes or less. You can have a cup of hot water. You can make a cup of coffee to get you to get your day going. When you have no power, no electricity, no no warmth, a cup of coffee in the morning really makes the day more bearable. You can also cook soup on here, pancakes, eggs. You might as well eat some of that food from the fridge before it goes bad. Um, you can keep your eggs and milk outside in the snow, and that'll keep it cool. Um, you can cook up a nice cheeseburger in here, whatever you want. So this is highly recommended as well, one of these kits. And they fold down to that flat. And it's a full, it's, it's a full size, two, two full size burns in here. And this, you can use the same exact fuel to run this oven as you do your heater. And also these fit on propane lanterns. So you can have, you can have heat, food, and light all with the same exact propane tanks here. And if you buy the hose, um, I might as well find that on Amazon for the best price. I'll, yeah, I'll do that for you. I'll find the best price on Amazon for that hose that attaches from a big 20 pound uh, tank for your grill that, that will allow you to run that big tank of propane and hook it up to here or hook it up to your portable heater or you can hook it up to your lantern that runs on propane. Yeah, I'll, I'll put that link below the video as well um, to where to pick that up on Amazon for the best price. That way, you can have days and days and days of heat, of light, and of food. Anyway, I'm getting off the track here, but um, this video is primarily a review of the Buddy, the, the portable Buddy system by uh, Mr. Heater. And again, I'll kick it over real fast for you to show you. Down there, it's off. Over here, I'm going to switch it to pilot mode, and I'm going to press down. Until that blue light stays on, it's on. Kick it up to high, and then it'll turn ice red. I mean, hit <laughs> ice red. It'll turn uh, red, red. After it's turning, done turning red, it takes about 30 seconds for it to turn red. You then can switch it to low, or you can keep it high. It's up to you. That's how fast you can get this thing running. All right. Very simple to use. Starts up without no, with zero hassles. Um, Let's talk about the how hot it gets. This stays. This gets a little tiny bit warm, but it's primarily cool to the touch. Over here's cool to the touch. Even down here, I can touch this fine. Look at that. This is cool to the touch. The um, down here, if this is carpet on the ground, it will turn warm, but it won't melt or catch on fire too probably at all. I recommend that you keep this um, a little bit off the ground, maybe on a on a on a granite slab or a, or maybe a um, a uh, granite cutting board or something that's not prone to melting just to be safe. From the side view you can see that it is basically the same width as a tank of propane. The other side you can see that easier how wide it is. And the back, which is pretty neat, it has um, the model number 9000 on high, 4000 BT a minute, BTUs on minimum on low, um, it takes propane, it has all that fun information. Um, you got to keep this unit, you got you to have a um, three feet or one meter um, radius around this unit, nothing on the left, right, front, or back. That's not true. Just from the front primarily, because um, and from the top, because um, on the back you can see that it has holes here on this plastic frame, thick plastic frame. It has holes here to hang it from nails on your wall. Um, just keep stuff, anything, doesn't matter what it is, a, a, three feet away from the top and away from the front grill. 
uh, because they will catch on fire. This thing gets red hot. And even if you forget how to uh, start it up, it has directions right on the back how to use it. Let me focus on that. Let's see, safe lighting operation and shutdown instructions. It tells you, look at that, check for connections and leaks. That's very, very important. This is how you start it, very simple. I showed you how to start it. It starts so simple, it's great. Um, how to shut it off, you just, you know, turn a knob to the off position, make sure it's in the off position. Um, and as you saw, dep depending on the company that makes these and depending on how old these cylinders are, if you usually usually you can unscrew these and they they don't hiss at you and they don't smell because they're not supposed to but this one here is apparently bad and um this one uh i unscrewed it and you you heard it, it was hissing at me and it smelled like propane so this one uh when this one's um empty i'm gonna recycle it and because uh, i never want it in my vicinity ever again i don't want it near me because if i accidentally refill this in the future this little one it's going to start leaking out again all over the place. I just wasted some money. So when this one's done, I'm going to recycle it. Or I will put it in, I'll write right on it. Scrap, do not use. And I can use it for some other project in the future. Maybe cut in half, turn it into a cooking, cooking vessel. I don't know. Um, but usually you can, um, when they're done, you can refill them. And you can hunt around YouTube on how to refill these. But um, these usually cost about $3 a pop. You can get two for six or two for seven dollars, United States. Um, um, but if you buy um, a big tank, a big 20, 20 pound um, vessel tank of the propane, you can re refill an empty tank for 20 bucks, 25 bucks. So instead of paying three dollars a pound this way, big tank, it's only a dollar a pound. So your cost of heating goes down from 50 cents to a from 50 cents an hour on low or a dollar an hour on high to it goes down to like 10 cents an hour on low and 20 cents an hour on high if you use a big tank so um not only do you need this but you need that hose with a filter to connect to a big tank so i'll put all that information below uh, i'll link it over to amazon to where you can buy each one of those items for the best bang for the buck all right so with that said, this is the uh, review of the uh, Portable Buddy, as you see down there, Portable Buddy by Mr. Heater. And if you have any questions, please ask them below, with t uh, type them, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with the answers. Um, questions, comments, concerns, please write them below. Um, before you leave this video, make sure you click like, so I know you like my effort. Um, click subscribe so that you get more cool videos from me, uh, reviews, tips and tricks, everything from um, camping to survival to computers to uh, electronic reviews, etc. Uh, and about foreign languages too, I like that stuff a lot. And click share right now, just click share, share this on Facebook, and all of your 500 or 600 friends will get this video because I over 600,000 people were affected in February of 2014 of that ice storm and they had no power and they were freezing many people died all right so all of your friends on Facebook will see this video hopefully they go and buy this straight from Amazon get a ship to your house in a couple days um, while it's in delivery they can pick up a couple of these tanks of propane and keep them just you know keep them in your garage or keep them wherever um, in a little area and when the time comes where you need heat you get heat in five seconds, in a couple seconds. Switch it, pile it on, hold that down, starts up, switch it to high, boom. Now we got heat. That simple. You got a fireplace in five seconds flat. Oh, and these also have no smell. There's no smell coming from this when it burns. Unlike kerosene, kerosene can really, really stink. This has no smell. You don't even know it's on. But it creates a really, really orange glow like a fireplace. So when you're sleeping, it's almost like sleeping in front of a fireplace. It has an orange glow in the room. Um, so share this with your friends on Facebook. Just click share, share to the whole, post on your Facebook. Make sure all of your friends are well protected and ready for the next storm, the next hurricane, the next ice storm, the next snowstorm, the next tsunami, whatever that wipes out electricity on the, and everyone has no power for days on end. Now they will have, now they will have heat. All right.
And if they follow the links below this video, not only can they buy this from Amazon, they can get um, the uh, that that um, the two burner stove that it shows you on, from Amazon. I'll put the link below for you too. Um, you can usually get usually get the propane a lot cheaper in your area rather than sh because when you buy it offline, you got to pay for all the shipping and weight. So it's better to get this from a local store around you. The propane. I also put links below to the hoses with the filter that you need so that you can um, hook up a big tank of uh, propane. Because if you have a propane grill outside, you're not you probably won't be barbecuing in in the winter time. Um, so you can just take that tank off and hook it up to this. So that simple. And you can also use that big tank and connect it with that hose to the um, to the propane stove that it shows you. You can also hook it up to your propane lantern that you go camping with. Now you got light. Don't put it in your house. Don't put that lantern in your house because they say not to. But you can put it outside of your window and it'll shine light into your house or on your deck, um, etc. So with that said, um, just help your friends out. Help your friends and family out. Share this video on, on Facebook and um, let or you know or blog about it. I don't care what you do but everyone needs a everyone needs to see this video everyone needs to see how fast and easy it is to use one of these guys and um that's about it <laughs> so with that said um I wish you luck I hope your power doesn't go out but you know it does and it did for me and for over 600,000 people for almost almost a million people there were still still people are without power and it's been almost a, it's, it's been um almost two weeks, and they're still freezing to death. And we just got hit with another ice and snowstorm today. Um, so um, definitely share this video with your friends. And um, yeah, I can't stress that enough. I just don't want people to suffer like I did with before I bought this. <laughs> so this is going to be my be my lifesaver. Guess what? Now I don't care if the power goes out. I got heat. I got my double burner stove, which also uses a propane too. And light, I don't need light during the day. And at night, I got a couple flashlights and candles. So I'm good to go. Um, so with that said, um, go ahead, click like, click, click like, click subscribe, um, share my video, and click those uh, links below. And I got, uh, I'll probably put a couple links below the video. So if you click a link, you might lose this pager on. So you might want to uh, right click the link and choose open in new tab or open a new window and open up a new, and then you'll have a new tab or new window opened up that you can buy the stuff on Amazon so that so you don't, you don't lose this video you're on now and lose all these links and great information um, well at least I hope it's great at least I try my best um, so with that said I wish you luck I hope your power does not go up but you never know and um, please stay warm in this winter and uh, buy this even if even if you see this video in summertime, buy it because the winter's coming soon after that, right? With that said, this is Steve, and um, stay warm. Bye bye now.